Have you ever seen the video where David Attenborough taps on a tree like this with a rock and a woodpecker comes to see what he's doing? Well, I'm here to tell you I've tried it hundreds of times and it's never worked for me. But don't worry, instead of tapping trees with rocks, I'm going to show you woodpeckers instead. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the great spotted woodpecker. The great spotted woodpecker is the most common of three species that are found in the UK, alongside the lesser spotted and the green woodpecker. There are currently around 30,000 pairs across the country and they are found in both Scotland and Wales and the east of Northern Ireland. Great spotted woodpeckers are a similar size to the common starling with a wingspan of around 36 centimetres and grow into weights of 70 to 100 grams. This species is sexually dimorphic with both males and females having black wings with white bars and mottled tips, white cheek patches, a red patch under their tails and cream fronts. However, males have a red patch at the back of their heads that is absent in the females and juveniles can also be recognised by the red cap that runs all the way along the top of their heads. This species is mainly found in broadleaf woodlands but they can also set up home in conifer plantations and in parks and gardens if they contain mature trees. Although they are omnivores, their main diet consists of insects and grubs which they extract from under tree bark using their powerful beaks and long tongues. They will also eat a small amount of berries and seeds and are becoming more common at garden bird feeders. Throughout the spring and summer, they will take the high protein eggs and chicks of other birds sometimes chiseling their way through bird boxes in order to get to them. Great spotted woodpeckers are territorial and claim their space by drumming their beak rapidly on a hollow or dead tree branch. Although they are faithful throughout the nesting period, females often move around between breeding seasons and may select a new mate every year. Typically, nesting starts around April time in a chamber that both birds have made inside a standing tree trunk. This chamber has a well-rounded entrance hole and can be more than 30 centimeters deep, but it's not filled with any nesting material. Each pair will produce between four and six glossy white eggs, which are incubated for 10 to 12 days before they hatch. Although both parents take turns to incubate them during the daytime, only the male incubates the eggs at nighttime. Once the chicks hatch, they have a voracious appetite and almost constantly beg at the nest hole for their parents to feed them. After around 20 days of being fed in the nest, the young birds are ready to fledge. Interestingly, at this point the brood splits into two groups, half are looked after by the father and the other half by the mother. This post-nesting care doesn't last for very long though, and after a further 10 days, the young birds will be completely independent and move away from the nesting site. Unlike a lot of other smaller bird species, great spotted woodpeckers only produce one batch of chicks per year. Although great spotted woodpecker numbers dropped sharply around 200 years ago, over the past 30 years they have seen a widespread increase in numbers. It's not really clear why this is, but it may be in part due to Dutch elm disease providing them with lots of feeding opportunities. Not much is known about the average lifespan of the species, but the oldest bird on record survived to be just over 11 years of age. So how was that? Have I drilled any woodpecker facts into your head? Hopefully so. If I have, then check out this video here where I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Great Cormorant. And if you enjoy that, then why not subscribe so you see my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.